feel. We feel like people get relieved when they see somebody for whatever reason. We get relieved when we see someone who does what we do get bam or get fucked up because it's like, all right, if you sell CDs, you hear somebody else, the other CD man down the road getting locked up and shit like that, but ah, uh, shit, it's all good. They ain't get me. You know what I'm saying? They ain't get me. But that's not what this is. Right now, they could already have a case on Dolph, Gotti, Gates, NBA Youngboy, Fred O'Bain. Just, just keep going up the list. It's whoever you want to name. North to South, South to West, whatever the fuck it is. Um, you think because you got one case. We thought because 6 9 had this this uh, child case, the feds weren't working on this. We thought because, you know what I'm saying, they don't give a fuck about what the fuck is dog. These folks' mission is to make sure that no minority... <laughs> Don't don't get me started on that dog. Don't get me started on that. Dog, it's a book called Forty Million Dollar Slave. I've never read the book. As much as I appreciate you fucking with my channel the way you do, if you not moving forward in life, I pretty much fucking failed. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of being broke. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of the coworkers at your bullshit ass job. I do not have to ask you if you tired of the way your family looks down on you. But what I do have to ask you is how much longer you gonna wait to do something about this shit, big on? Call this fucking number. Let's get something moving in a forward, positive, northward direction. Call this number. I told you this. Get your shit together, big homes. Welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, and this is... If you do not have your Are You Serious t-shirt or your Big Face Podcast t-shirt, you know they're going for $20, so are your Big Face Podcast snapbacks. Your Big Face Podcast scully are going for $15. Um, the PayPal on the screen. Um, make sure that you put all your details, all your information in there. I uh, had like five orders that didn't have something on something that was needed, whether it be color, which shirt you want, or address or some shit like that, please make sure you put all your information in that PayPal note. Also, remember, I know y'all want to get on the show with the uh, AO Nation donation conversation. I, I got y'all messages. Um, but you do not go to the PayPal that you buy your clothes on. The PayPal that you donate to is paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. Um, it's always on the screen like, Three different times during the uh, during the show, and um, you, your PayPal donation will be shouted out every week, whatever like that. Y'all understand that y'all are how the show keeps going because you know YouTube is not going to monetize me like they should because of what the fuck I be saying and shit like that and how I see it. So y'all really run the show, whatever. So I'm showing love uh, in any way I can. But y'all make sure that you are sending it to the right place and shit like that. Um, if you haven't donated yet, um, get your shit together, be home. I, I'm, I'm trying to get to where I got to get to because this is going to be a three. I'm, I'm, I'm having to break this whole situation down in three parts. I want to talk about what his baby mama going to do, the informants that made this case, and... What's about to happen in the federal prison system with him going there, with this being someone that pretty much knows that he's going to be extorted. He's just hoping that he can be extorted and they can protect him. So he's just switching out security on the street to security in prison and shit like that. Um, I'm thinking about having some 
having something like an open panel a little bit. Talk to some niggas that have been to federal prison because I ain't never been to federal prison. Um, I want to, you know, have a conversation with them so they can explain what's going on. And I might do that on the rap trap. Have a, just the same way that y'all heard that uh, conversation I had with the lady from Mediacom and shit like that. Do something like that so we can talk about what's going on in the federal prison right now and what's about to happen when he get there. But this video here is going to be the intro. And let's talk about it. I, I don't want to come on here with all that, you know, I told you so, I told you so, I told you. Because you can go back in my archive since I first began speaking about Takashi. I, I said that, you know, this, this shit ain't going to end. I, I ain't say this shit ain't going to end well on no faggot shit because that's what anybody can see that. But I explained on how the people around him and all this shit like this. Um, was going to fall and, and, and what place it was going to fall and why you can tell it's going to fall. Um, let me tell you what just took place with this shit. 6 9 is in federal custody. Um, he's being charged with the RICO racketeering and I think the RICO law it hits like 27 charges, whatever like that. And I don't know, I don't know what the fuck. If you get convicted of two of them hoes, then you are then fit for the minimum, which is 25 years. You know what I'm saying? And they go from like 25 to life and all that. So it's heavy shit. Like it's, it's, it's real shit. They got him. He had 1.7 million for a bail. Fuck that. No bail. Um, Money won't beat the feds. Feds is, them is them niggas, like, the feds make the money. Like, they print the shit. Like BC said, like, the feds print money. We don't give a fuck about your money. Like, they, they didn't have real stars in that motherfucker. Like, money is not going to get you out of federal charge. Um, they got, I think they've been on this nigga since the Gummo video. Um... But they had shot his phone tap and they got voice and text um, evidence, like actual, actually hearing, we're going to violate 6 9 We're going to super violate him. They had his phone tap trying to get some more charges on him and this nigga start talking about Fucking over 6 9 You know what I'm saying? Like, the feds came to 6 9 after that on some protection shit. After 6 9 started talking, oh, man, uh, fight the whole team, all that shit like that. That's when Shotty told the people, you know what I'm saying, we're going we gonna to supervise. That's what he said, super violate him. Um, they came and got him on some, listen, it's over with, coming out of custody. You already, you know what I'm saying? Like, on that type of shit. But then, like BC said, y'all went and got him on some protection shit, like protection, the case, like it's over with, it's over with, our investigation is over, like, because y'all finna kill each other, they finna kill you at this point, so fuck it, we're gonna go ahead and just, it's a wrap, hey, let's get him, it's over with. BC said, y'all going to get him for protection, and y'all finna send him to where he finna like really die at, because... When he go to that fed, I'll explain that later. But if the fed already up ready to go for him. Like, you know, all that, you a dirty blood and beefing with John Maloke and, and uh, Slim 400. Like, they putting in phone calls. They putting, they sending care package in that bitch. Like, the first nigga, nigga, you know, I went like, come on, man. It's going to go down in that bitch. Um, so, everything just started crumbling. Um, on the Breakfast Club, there's so many sound bites in there of him just fucking himself over. And it's just like, when you listen to this shit and you see this shit, he came to court today or last night and all he had was 1.7 in his uh, account, 1.7 million in his account. Shotty had 60,000 in his account. Niggas asking why ain't no fuck, like, all that. You got 10 for 10 on the billboard. Everything that you're doing, how the fuck do you only have 1.7 million? I try to get a nigga the benefit of the doubt saying maybe the nigga buried some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
on some street shit, but a nigga would have to tell him to do that. He wouldn't know to go and actually bury some money. You actually have to be a street nigga to know, or uh, even have the instinct, like, I don't want the bank to have all my fucking money because I understand that the feds can seize that shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's all the money he really had. Try to put it up for the bed and go for it. Uh, shot it. 60000 I already had a feeling that like he was faking the whole time. Like I already had that feeling like he was just talking. Like, I'm the skinny shoes and all that shit like that. And he was saying that shit because he was trying to effectively extort 6 9 Like, that's, he was trying to be sure to 6 9s Tupac. Like, he said it loud and proud. And 6 9 ine ain't say shit about it because it's Treyway. Um, it's a nigga named Robert, um, Robert Bridges. He, he's a fan of the show. He's been watching since I did that Rollo store. And he's a life coach. Like, a life advisor. He charges like $25 an hour. I'm going to put his link in the description box, his number, and shit like that. The folks are showing that fucking clip of him talking to Fat Joe and shit like that. That shit going in one ear and out the other one. If you actually value your next move, you wouldn't mind a second opinion. You wouldn't mind it. And that's why I think I'm going to call uh, Robert about this um, Georgia State thing. like Because I have some ideas that I want to do, but I have questions about this shit also about should I do this and should I do that. And I have people I can talk to, but there's never... There's never, to me, there's, I can never have, this opinion will never, I can, I can listen to anything. I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to eat it. You know what I'm saying? You can just, all right, got that. Maybe you're going to give me something that I don't have already. And I really believe that whether you about to take a Burger King job or you about to break up with your bitch or you about to go and kill this fuck nigga, if we would goddamn actually tell the truth, to a person, and it's better if they're just a fucking stranger, because you can tell a whole story, and you don't have to try to, you know what I'm saying, because if it's somebody you know, you're going to try to make yourself look good, you ain't going to tell the ugly, nasty fucking truth, and if someone else knew exactly what was going on, like what the fuck you actually did in life, instead of, you're the only one who know this shit that you know about you, if someone else knew, and you can just get a second opinion, they might be able to get you over that shit that you just, you have not been able to, it's been how long, 12 years, and you still dealing with this shit the same way, you cannot get over that obstacle. Tell you, dog, this is, and this goes into other shit, like uh, the boy Jordan Tower said, this is uh, similar to what Bobby Smurda had going on. Um, Bobby Smurda got hit on, like, we get y'all as a group. We swooping up the whole group type shit. Like, you gonna get hit for funding, you know what I'm saying, being a part of this shit. But they didn't hit him for no Rico. They hit him with like a, a whole, you know what I'm saying, gang type shit. I don't think they hit him with no Rico. But on this shit, they hitting 6 9 like, you funding domesticated terrorists. Treyway mean the 9 Trey blood and, and ain't no more talking and explaining no more. Ain't no, oh, it's all entertainment, nah, nah, because you're directly linked in, like your associates, the people that you're paying, and he said on the interview that he's putting in positions, I, I, uh, uh, I, I don't just give nobody no money, I, I put in position to win, and, and uh, what, what you do, I, you can be security, whatever like that. The niggas that he was paying was taking that money and going to try to flip with some dope. Was trying to, uh, nigga going over here robbing somebody, buying pistols. They were really, so you putting money to the niggas who are terrorizing the streets, whatever like that. Like, you're a, a gang lord. You're a gang leader. Without you, we wouldn't have all this fucking crime. We got shooting, we got stabbing, we got this, we got that. And it's because of your people that you pay. And now I go back to, you know what I'm saying, that whole everything, you know what I'm saying? Like that that whole being a duck, not knowing what's going on. All he was trying to do is just be a rapper. Like, no, but what was shown to him was 
You can be fake and succeed. Being fake works. And this is what you get as a result. And that's why this is a good thing for us. For us. This is good for us because now there's physical proof that the rap trap not only exists, but it's alive and well. It's alive and well. It's a hungry, starving animal with an insatiable thirst. There's no getting around it. Hello? Give a fuck my dad. <clears throat> but you the rap trap could be on anyone because you have to be on that gangster shit in order to win. This nigga ain't really do nothing spectacular, dog. He was a rapper that talked about that gang trap shit. Just like any other rapper had some homeboys that is still in the street. Homeboys that'll do something just like NBA Youngboy. Niggas trying to do this and do that. Like you don't even know what the fuck these niggas doing and shit like that. But because you the one that's paying the money out. You the reason why this shit is going on. None of this shit happens without you. So he the leader. They can move without that boy. They can move without that boy. But that boy there can't nothing move without him. So you are the Rico. Who can't they say that about? We have your admission through your music, through your blogs. We see you with guns. Look at your music video. Like I said, I think they've been on them since Gummo. Right then they knew that they can convince a jury that this is really who he is. And that's that's the crazy part about it, ain't it? Because all throughout your career, and it, it, like for your career really to jump, what you're trying to do is prove to the people that you are this nigga. You are really a gangster. You are, you are not a rapper. You are really this nigga. Until this happens and you scream, I'm not no gangster. I'm a rapper. Ain't that crazy? In order to get the money, you have to prove to the people that you're not a rapper. You are actually this person, this gangster, this rough and tough. Then you get in this situation where the money doesn't even matter. Where the money doesn't even matter. No bail. The money don't... We, we good on that money thing, be home. We, we, need, we need you off the street. And not for no three years. Ain't no more probation. And let me stop. But I, I, I'm asking you. What rapper could this not apply to? The feds don't tell you. The feds don't. By the time when the feds show up, it's over with already. The feds don't. They didn't go in the boy house on no. Uh, just going over here and check some shit out. That shit had went out of my mind because I wasn't really giving a fuck. For real, for real. I, I, didn't, I really ain't give a fuck. But they didn't go in that house for no reason. By the time you see them, it's already over. It ain't no, uh, you know, talking and shit like that. And, and this nigga thinking that he being protected and, and uh, you got death threats on you. See how the feds work? You got death threats on your life, so now we got to protect you. You got this right here going on, so we got to protect you. You thinking they trying to protect you and some shit like that. You moving like the president. Once you get on the breakfast club, it's six federal agents outside. 
I'm good and oh uh, man, I, I can't, it's past me now, it's over me now. They try to kidnap me and shit like that. Dog, you thinking they out there because of the, they try to kidnap you and now they got somebody in custody and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When really they outside on some. What's my nigga name? Um, Rayful Edmund shit. They follow you around until the warrant come through. And that shit might take months. So they just, six months, they making sure you don't get on no goddamn plane. You don't go nowhere. Why they, why they, they the, the case already built. What they doing now is getting their shit together, getting their paper together to go show to the judge for him to issue the warrant. It's over with already. When you see them, it's already over with. The game over with when you can see them. You know what I'm saying? Right for Evan them, they used to, um, when they get up, they used to wave at the goddamn camera and shit like that. They used to wave at the dudes in the truck. Go out there and ask them, like in, on uh, on American Gangster, when um, Denzel Washington uh, told his driver to go out there and hand Rich and them um, bottles of champagne and shit like that. Like, you will know they there. Like, you know they own you. They own you. It's over already. So, I don't want to go too deep in that. Like I said, we got a lot on that shit. But, I, just, I want you to think about how dirty these motherfuckers is. And how they can twist and turn laws to fit what they want. And there won't, there ain't no talking to these people. I'm trying to tell you. Ain't no talking to these people. Like, hey, ho, you can't do that. Dog. Words from a criminal mean less than a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck about no words from no criminal. Why in the fuck should we give a fuck about you being dead wrong when you're the reason why it's dope on the streets? You're the reason why niggas over here dead and why old ladies can't leave their building. That's how any prosecutor or anybody can push the shit. Right here in your video, my nigga, like you have a, a pit bull, animal cruelty, all these bloods out here, you throwing up these gang signs, nine trade, is that a, is that a record label or is that the nine trade blood set? Like, haven't you gone, ain't that what your whole thing is about? Test my gangster? Everywhere you go, that is a fucking disturbance. You think we give a fuck about you getting did wrong? Whatever the feds are doing is good because they're cleaning up our streets. And that's exactly how you're going to get done, my nigga. Not 6 9 6 9 already over with. I'm talking about you. The next artist up. Because it's not old. Like, like this this, this is another thing, dog. You know, let me tell you something. In a street... Or even just regular people. When you see a police officer, when it's it's two o'clock in the morning, you coming home and shit like that. Like so, we was at Atlantis, you know what I'm saying? And we left there by you know what I'm saying two thirty. So now it's three thirty. We getting back in Daphne and shit like that. Now it's now it's, you know what I'm saying a race to the house. You you just trying to get to the house because you know in Daphne after nine o'clock. Damn the police can pull over a nigga for being like to ask you, hey, what's going on? Like that that's being caught outside after after dark as a nigga in Daphne is a crime. That's that's probable cause right there. This nigga outside like nigga, where the fuck is you from? You don't know this it, it ain't none of that, my nigga. Ain't that's not how this shit go. So now it's 3 30, they gonna go ahead and just whoop you over just for having a like Woo! It's over with. Um, so as you driving home, whatever like that, you see a you see a police officer got somebody pulled over. That kind of relieves you because you feel like, all right, they got somebody else. Then I'm I'm good because they got somebody else. Um, as a trap nigga, uh, you hear about goddamn uh uh rock them uh uh just got hit over here in uh. In in uh 
in in Jackson or, or, or down down on uh down on County Road 35. Or they just got hit, like they just ran up in their spot right there. So you kind of feel good, like I right, well they they hit them, that means I'm free. So now I I got time to get my shit together. So them hitting somebody else mean they ain't on me. That's how we feel. We feel like people get relieved when they see somebody for whatever reason. We get relieved when we see someone who does what we do get bam or get fucked up because it's like, all right, if you sell CDs, you hear somebody else, the other CD man down the road getting locked up and shit like that, but ah, shit, it's all good. They ain't get me. You know what I'm saying? They ain't get me. But that's not what this is. Right now, they could already have a case on Dolph, Gotti, Gates, NBA Young Boy, Fred O'Bain. Just, just keep going up the list. Just whoever you want to name. North to South, South to West, whatever the fuck it is. Um, you think because you got one case. We thought because 6 9 had this this uh, child case, the feds weren't working on this. We thought because, you know what I'm saying, they don't give a fuck about what the fuck is dog. These folks' mission is to make sure that no minority... <laughs> don't don't get me started on that, dog. Don't get me started on that. Dog, it's a book called $40 Million Slave. I've never read the book. A lot of things I, 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 I can hear about and I can take context clues. I can hear about it so much that I've never looked it up. But it's about uh, athletes, NFL players, NBA players. It might just be about one of them. I don't know. But Vlad said this also. With all that money in the, in the locker room, these niggas don't never talk about business. I know shit like that. Kind of make a nigga feel. And these niggas don't help each other. Niggas play football. Niggas play basketball. Basketball players, I, like I told LeBron James, Stephen Curry, and, and two more big stars to sit out until the shit in the NFL got right. Niggas ain't on that shit, man. Niggas ain't on that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And they make sure that. They make sure of it. I told you that you get vetted. They make sure that you're expendable. It's okay for you to go buy your bitch something, go pay the, these little folk bill and shit like that, like yellow bees that say uh, favors, I'm all out of favors. Everybody asks you for money. We know that shit, though. You know, like everybody going to ask you for money once we figure out you got some money. Uh, even in cartoons, um, they they know, all right, if you win the lottery, you, you all of a sudden have all these long-lost cousins and shit like that. But they make sure that you will not be one of them niggas who will 1.7 million put it in a place where it's going to build. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to make a change. By the time you get those type of thoughts in your head to do what LeBron James did. And I have I have questions about that situation. By the time you get those type of ideas, they taking that shit back. As we can see now. By the time niggas get money, they gotta spend it on not going to fucking prison. By the time niggas get money, they gotta spend it on not going to prison because of the IRS. They make sure of these things. That's how gangster became so fucking cool. Because it's ultra... For the people on the golf course, it's ultra profitable. Just like that. Just leave it like that. It's ultra profitable, profitable period. It's ultra profitable. The record execs will make money. The judicial system will make money. 
Big Tobacco makes money. The pharmaceuticals make money. Everybody's going to make money on that golf course. The only thing that gets thrown around and goes up and down is the artist. You get money from your people. Look how, look how that shit works. Lord Jesus. You get money. The artist gets the money from his people. Gives a cut of it to the record label. Gives the majority of it to Tobacco, Gucci, Tommy Hill figure, and anybody else who despises niggas and a pharmaceutical company. Lean, pills, alcohol, Gucci, Fendi, anybody, any other homosexual white man that don't like niggas. And then you'll give it to your lawyers and the judicial system. And we as the fans are down here still just starving. We just get used. But we don't got to go to jail. And so what does that artist become? Once he gets done with his judicial shit, he come home, he broke his fuck. Now he one of us again. Now here he is paying for the other artist, giving him the money. And they just keep on going until they decide, until the record label decide to pick, just like that, that little claw in the stove that you can go do like this and they pick something up. That's all they do to us. When they took that talent out, it just became a fucking raffle. And every when they and they just chose him. But if they fuck around and catch somebody that got some sense, oh shit, no. Whew, throw that motherfucker back. Who we got now? Oh, City Girls? Hell yeah. Let's get them. One of them already in the feds. So this situation is a good one because. Now you see what I'm talking about. This is not no game. If you think it's a game, tune in to part two. And we're going to go into what's going to happen to them in the feds. See y'all in a minute. Make sure you hit the PayPal. Love.